Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and uh, today I wanted to show you a new application that was just released, uh, well, sort of new. It's new for the Android platform, and this is Opera Mini uh, 5 Beta for Google Android. And uh, this is a, a, a web browser from Opera Software. It's available on a number, number of other handsets. This is a new native version for Android. It doesn't require you to install it on Java um, the way that you do with some other phones. And so when you first load the browser, you can see that you sort of get uh, what Opera calls a, um, what do they call it? They call it the uh, start page. And it's nine boxes with thumbnail icons that are shortcuts to uh, your most frequently visited pages, favorite pages, whatever. You can actually customize these by hitting the plus button, and here it shows some uh, previously visited pages, or I can enter a new one. Uh, I've already put a couple of my favorites here, including the mobile computing web page, so let's click that and see how it looks. Now, uh, one of the things that makes Opera Mini different from a lot of other web browsers is it will actually process the uh, the page rendering remotely. So it actually sends a message to Opera's servers, they do all the uh, crunching, and then it sends it direct to your uh, device. And that makes the web browsing experience pretty fast, even on a phone that has a fairly slow processor. Now this one has a pretty fast processor, and you can see I'm looking at the mobile theme for mobile computing. Let's go ahead and switch to the standard theme, and you'll see how long it takes to open a page here. And that's pretty much it. It's the entire page rendered uh, pretty well. I see some of the images took a few seconds to catch up, but there they are. Uh, to click to zoom in, you just tap to zoom out. You tap that button over there. There is no multi-touch here, so unlike the native Android browser on the Nexus One, you can't uh, pinch to zoom. But uh, pages look pretty good and load uh, smoothly here. Let's go ahead and uh, click on a subpage, and you can see it does work with the accelerometer to rotate the screen when you rotate the device. Zoom out. Actually, I think we are zoomed out. There we go. Now, one of the nice things here is that you can do uh, multiple tabs. So let's open a new tab, go to another website. And let's do another tab. You can see New York Times website loads very quickly there. And so we've actually got three tabs open, and you can see them all here in the bottom tab bar. And you just tap the one that you want to open, and flipping back and forth is incredibly quick and smooth. Or say you want to close one, just hit the X, and that one closes. In the settings, you can see you've got bookmarks, saved pages, the ability to uh, find a word in a page, downloads, history, or you can just go to the start page really quickly. In order to customize the start page, say you don't want the uh, Facebook icon here, just tap and hold and up pops a menu that says clear or edit. And then on the bottom here you'll see that you've got buttons to sort of slide backward and forward. And refresh a page. That's pretty much it. That's uh, Opera 5 Beta for the Google Android platform. Very nice job in, uh, in overall uh, speed and performance. Not a lot of reason on a fast device like the Nexus One to use it over the uh, uh, default browser, um, unless you prefer the way that tabs are managed, which I actually kind of do. It's uh, much faster to switch tabs here than in the Android browser, or if you really like that uh, start page, which gives you quick access to your most frequently visited uh, sites uh, or bookmarks sites. So, um, you know, those, those are things that are kind of nice, but in terms of speed and overall performance, the uh, Android browser uh, is just about as fast on the Nexus One. If you have a slower device, like maybe the T-Mobile uh, uh, G1, then in that case this might actually give you a little bit of a performance boost as well. So, uh, that's Opera Mini 5 Beta for Android. This is Brad Linder for Mobile Computing.